Hello guys, my name is Ola. Yeah, I'm a computer scientist, but I major in computer engineering, graphic designing, web designing, and program programming. Sorry. Okay, today we'll be having. I'll be teaching you guys how to do simple design on CorelDRAW. Okay, so it's just a basic design. In case you are just uh, getting familiar to CorelDRAW, uh, I'm going to teach you step by step ways on how to achieve this thing i'm going to design so just pay attention follow the step one after, one after the other then you are good to go so the first thing you need to have is to have a corridor application on your system now corridor comes with different versions so we have it up to version x10 right now but i'll be using corridor x7 okay now once you can use other versions of corridor you can use once you can use one version of corridor i mean you can use other versions so when you launch your corridor for the first time what you'll be seeing on your screen is new document new template open recent and open order so all you have to do is to click on new document so when you click on new document yeah it's going to pop out a dialog box now this dialog box you have name you have costume you have size you understand all you have to do is to assign a name to whatever you want to do so i'm going to put pepsi logo pepsi logo and right here i'm going to leave preset destination as custom size i'm going to use a5 because a5 is the half of a4 paper if you know a4 paper as big as it is a5 is just half of it okay so that's what i'm talking about so leave your primary color mode to cmyk leave your number of pages to one leave your height you can change it from millimeter to inches it's good to use inches most of the time you know so i click on ok so when you click on ok the first view you are going to see is what we call the work station or workplace okay which in corridor is referred to document one somehow and sometimes to just be but because i've assigned a name to it it's just pepsi logo and that is the title bar where you see corridor s7 pepsi logo followed by the menu bar the menu bar is the one with file edit view layout object effect bitmap text table tools windows and app there are menu that contains sub menus do you understand that so followed by the standard bar the standard bar contains shortcut to commands that can be found in what menu of course the next one is the properties bar yes properties bar changes in respect to whatever tools you are working with yes whatever tools you are working on because when i'm on pick two the properties bar you see is going to be a setting for my pick two that's where you see the a4 the sizes of the a4 paper then add up from portrait to landscape and etc etc then right by this the left hand side right by the left hand side where you see my cursor moving is what we call what the toolbox the toolbox is where you have access to all the tools that is necessary for your design do you understand that cool if you are with me we are good to go then by your right hand side where you see my mouse moving up and down is where we call the color palette the color palette is where you have all your colors all colors all colors you can get any color from this angle okay is what we call the color palette now we're gonna be doing a, a simple logo a simple pepsi design i saw it on google so i think i should show you guys how to do it is very simple then somehow it may look difficult to you but when we start and when we finish you will see it's very very simple of course i don't want to use the portrait size i want to change my workspace to a landscape so what do i do i move to the properties bar then i click on the landscape then it changes whereby you have the length the breadth longer than the length do you understand that so if you are following me right now on your screen you should be able to do the same thing so the next thing i'm going to choose is to select my rectangle tool don't forget in your in your tool toolbar you have the pick tool you have the crop shape tool we have the crop tool you have the zoom tool you have the freehand tool you have the attics media then you have the rectangle tool and all the tools that follows okay so when you click on your rectangle tool you can draw at a rectangle by clicking down and dragging over to the level you want or to the size you want so i want it to be this way so if i want it to be at the center of my workspace i will click on p on my keyboard then it's going to centralize the shape in the center so right about now you've gotten your rectangle too then the next thing to do is what 
to divide the rectangle based on what I have here to design. So we have double color for it. But don't worry, you may not see what I'm designing, but just follow as we proceed. So all I have to do is to go to my crop tool. When I get to my crop tool, what tool do I need? I need a knife tool. But in my knife tool, if I want, if I want to access the knife tool, I need to go through the crop tool. So when I click down on the crop tool, it's going to pop out other options of other tools, containing other tools rather. We have the crop tool, we have the knife tool, the visual segment, delete, and the razor. But the tool that I need is what? The knife tool. So when you click on the knife tool, I'm going to go to the middle, the midpoint of my rectangle tool. I will click on it the once, then you won't drag, you click once, it will automatically magnetize that point. Then freely move your hand, your mouse down to the last point, then click again. Don't click down and drag your mouse. If you do that, it's going to give you a different shape. Just click once, leave the mouse, move it down gently, then click the end point. Voila, that's what we're talking about. So when you have successfully done that, or if you have successfully done that, congratulations to you, you know. Click on your pick tool. Now you've successfully divided the shape tool into two. Yeah, you've successfully, successfully divided the shape tool into two. Okay? Now if you have done that, the next thing I want to do is to assign color to each of the shape. The first shape here is having red. When I click on it, it's going to select the first shape and I click on red. When you click on red, the red color is going to be, is going to fit inside the rectangle too, neglecting the outline. When you check the outline, the outline is still on tiny black color. So if you want to Evit or you want to delete the outline color, all you have to do is go to outline on properties too. I told you your properties bar changes in respect to whatever you are working on. Mind you, when you check the properties bar now, it has changed from what it was before when I was in on pick two. If you take note of that, you can pause the video, rewind back, check what I'm saying, then continue. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so when I go to my outline tool, I click on none. It delete the outline color if you want to increase the outline color just click on whatever point you want you see it increases it you can even assign color to it if you right click on any color it's going to assign color to that outline color but that's not what we are doing right now we just want to color the inside then it be the outline color sorry i'm rushing i don't want the video to be too boring just want it to be short and interesting okay so sorry if i'm too fast pause rewind back replay pause rewind back replay if you understand that so yeah, we continue. So I've successfully assigned a color to the first box. So the second box, I'm going to apply a sky blue color to it. And I'm going to click on this cyan color, rather. I click on cyan color. So when I click on cyan color, I have red and cyan. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to assign a red, a, a, an ellipse to circle. An ellipse to. I want to assign an ellipse to, to it. Okay. Ellipse to. Now, what do I mean by an ellipse tool? An ellipse tool is a tool that looks like a rectangle. Ellipse tool. It looks like circle rather. Pardon me. It looks like circle. So when you click on it, you want to form a perfect circle. You click down on your control key, then you draw out the circle. It's going to give you a perfect circle. But if you want an, uh, a spherical circle, just leave the, sec uh, the control key. Draw the circle out the way you want it. It's going to form the any shape any type of circle you want but if you want a perfect shape always click down on your control key to get a perfect shape now i've certainly bring out a perfect circle so the next thing i want to do is to click on p to centralize my circle so this circle i'm going to give it white color you see that then the outline color is black but i don't want the outline color so what do i do i go to outline shape and i click on none don't mind the noise at the background don't worry i'm inside my house i'm just doing this for you guys but pay attention to the tutorial thank you thank you my people so the next thing i'm going to do right now i've successfully given a white color you see the way it looks doesn't doesn't it make sense it makes sense you know so the next thing i'm going to do is what is to duplicate the circle don't forget and make it a white circle but i'm going to duplicate it right now so when i duplicate okay you use a knife to click on the quadrant and drag to the next load then click then the next thing i'm going to now we've successfully divided the circle into two reduce the circle a little bit okay then place it in the middle of the other circle okay i know i use a shortcut key on my keyboard to achieve that do you just drag and you want to know more you can come to our training center so now that i've successfully 
uh, divided the circle into two. The first circle I'm going to assign red to the color. Red to the color. I delete the outline. While the second circle, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to apply blue color to it. Then I delete what the outline. So now I've successfully done this. I know you guys will like what next. So all you have to do next is what goes to your rectangle two. Is a little circuit I'm going to teach you. There's a, there's so many methods to achieving a simple design. But I love the shortcut method, the simple method. So I'm actually teaching you the simple method. So press me on your keyboard. The rectangle two is going to be on the center. It's going to be in the center of the circle. Then click on white. Okay. Then go to your outline color. Then click on none. Then you can increase the rectangle a little bit. Center. So what next am I going to do? I know you guys are anticipating what is this guy going to do. I'm going to go to my shape tool. Right click on my shape tool. Click on convert to curve. Then right click again on my shape tool. And click on to curve. So to one of I'm going to drag down and I'm going to take this one up. Very simple. I know it's going to be amazing when you see the outcome of what I'm doing. Just pay attention. Then right click at the other hand and click on to curve. Then drop this one down while this one go up a little bit. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Does it make sense? Yeah. I know you're going to be amazed at what it is right now. That's the way it is, man. Simple approach to simple design. Okay. Now I have something like this. Click out. Voila. This is what I'm talking about. Isn't it beautiful? very beautiful the next thing you're going to do is you click on a a means text tool text tool then type pepsi type pepsi and here under the properties bar you see the properties bar changes in respect to the tool that i choose so immediately i click on my text tool the properties bar actually changes to what i can make use for my text tool for example I'm on area. Area is a font. I can decide to change the font of this area to Time New Roma to Copper Black to whatever it is. So let me make use of area black. Click on area, area bold or area black. When I click on it, I can bring it to the center and increase it. Okay, and increase it. So when you have it like this. So when you have it like this, you can now change the color to blue as well. Because the color right here is in blue. So I can change the color to blue color. Okay, but let me adjust first. When, I, when you are done like this and you click on blue, of course, that is blue for you. You understand what I'm saying? So that is how you achieve your Pepsi logo. You understand? That's how you achieve your Pepsi logo. Yeah, design by AOT Computer Institute okay yeah that's that for today now in case you are just joining us or in case you are seeing this uh, this is how to achieve a simple logo you can as well try it over and over again there okay so remember to please like and uh, subscribe to our channel thank you so much then you'll be getting more and more of this simple design over and over again okay so if i press my f4 i have a full screen you see that then when i press my i have a full brand